What is going on everybody? My name is Jay. This is Unplayable and today I'm going to be doing a slightly different type of video. It's going to be on Pixelborn against randoms and I'm going to be playing what I consider to be meta style decks. So I'm going to play several games in a row so you can kind of see what the deck's trying to do in several of the matchups. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, it looks like I'm going to be going second and I'm playing Emerald Amber deck, the aggro rush deck, my own version of it and see what we can do i like having a just in time early i like having flynn early and the rest i think can go back we're going to try to get a moana maximus or Cusco. we also wouldn't mind getting lilo simba or lilo and then flynn and then turn three just in time of maximus see what we get we got a hatter we got a Cusco. rapunzel is great for card draw on this deck because you can quickly run out of gas um oh wow we got a moana too so we do have princess synergy here i think the card that will most likely not be played is one of these two so i think starting with mad hatter going to ink is probably not bad um hmm. i don't know maybe maybe tinkerbell goes to ink but yeah t the, i have more four costs than i do five costs and the five costs will be going with just in time so we'll start with inking tinkerbell here she's probably the weakest card in the deck she's kind of there just for those plays to get around evasive or reckless stuff like that okay uh aurora that's not very good for us because our flynn can't try to into, trade into aurora so that kind of stinks um but here we probably ink the jasper jasper can be really good especially in the situation with Aurora out, uh, Aurora out. But turn three, I'm gonna be doing just in time. And then turn four, I'd rather play Ariel uh, and then go into Moana the following turn or something along those lines. So I think Jasper is the one that gets inked here. And we just play the Flynn, even though we're not gonna be able to quest or challenge. We're gonna get ourselves set up real nice and a pass. I think a lot of people are starting to figure out how to play against this deck. So it's not gonna be as easy to to win with but we'll see is this just gonna be a hades deck just a bunch of hades come out all right here mm, that's actually I, th I think mad hatter goes here we we ink mad hatter and then just in time probably moana Cusco wouldn't be bad but i'm gonna save Cusco for Cusco for later in the game when he has his hades available so i think we're gonna ink hatter and we're gonna just in time moana and then from here we're gonna probably pass we really can't use flynn right now and give him a good trade with mickey or aurora so we'll just pass here all right he's playing his own moana that's interesting and he must be doing the old princess tribal and see where he gets with that um so we have several options here i kind of like the idea of getting value out of rapunzel so i can get some card draw so i'm thinking about making a trade into aurora and then playing rapunzel to heal and um draw two cards hmm yeah that might be what we do i know questing would be just straight up better here this is gonna be tough this is gonna be a tough game here let's do that let's do it we'll ink the aerial we'll play rapunzel draw a couple cards heal her up nice now we have maximus that we can just in time or just ink and then play maximus so that i can start using flynn yep here comes rapunzel i was kind of sussing that out but him only getting one card out of it is probably fine all right he's getting way ahead of me here so i'm not going to be able to just rush so i need to play this smart what can i do here to get the most value off his board i think i have to play maximus no matter what so we ink mad hatter we get maximus out there with the bodyguard we quest quest use moana's ability and quest she can swing into something i don't know how valuable that is i guess it is because the support on maximus so i swing for one on moana and pass i don't think i can i can get there on this one he's too far ahead he's just too far ahead benefits of going first in an aggro matchup for sure he's playing the robin hood to get a card he can challenge into evasive not that it matters for me i think he just quests for one two three four five six seven eight readies his two princesses and calls it a day because i i can't keep up with that it's over i don't know what he's thinking so hard about <laughs> yep him getting to go first and having an aurora into my flynn 
for sure just gives him the W. He got so much value out of Aurora while my Flynn had to sit there. Maybe I should have played, uh, I should have played Cusco so I could challenge into his Aurora. I think that was probably the, the misplay on my part. Um, yeah, so I mean, the best thing I can do here is go quest for Maximus, give Rapunzel support, swing in. Defeat Moana, uh, quest with Moana, ready Rapunzel, swing into Mickey, quest with Flynn, play some trash, ink some trash, and then pass. The support with Moana on a princess is pretty sweet, though. That was a good game. I lost that one. Um, I really think it came down to, one, him getting to go first and dropping an Aurora into my Flynn, and not having a Simba. Two, I should have dropped Cusco instead of Moana because Cusco has two strength to be able to swing into his Aurora so I could get it off the board. He doesn't get that insane amount of value throughout the game. So that was a big misplay on my part and something I will definitely look at going forward. So let's queue up another game. All right, looks like I'm gonna be going first. I like having a Simba early. I'm not a big fan of not having a just in time, so. We're gonna mulligan everything else. Looks like we got another Flynn, a Cusco. Still no just in time, but at least we have a two cost, three cost, four cost curve. So what we will probably ink here. Also, Jasper would have been clutch that last game. And that was foolish of me to ink him probably. So in this situation, instead, I don't have Moana. So I think Ariel goes to ink and pass. He's inking an Olaf, playing a Pascal. So we know he's playing yellow. Pascal, uh, luckily I have Tinkerbell in here, so I have the ability to swing into a Pascal if need be. I also have Jasper that I may end up playing. I'm not gonna use all these two costs, so one of these two costs probably should go. So I think Simba is probably the next next option here. And then we'll play the Flynn so that I can follow up with a bodyguard Simba if I need to, since he's not currently threatening anything that's going to really put me at stake. Plus I get one extra lore. Yep, so Simba will be perfect for the next turn unless he has Rafiki, which is not unlikely. Um, all right, so we got another five costs. So one of the three costs probably need to go. Mickey is sweet, but Jasper will be able to keep one of these Pascals from questing. I guess it's about the same in value except on the off turn. So I'm playing Simba anyway. Well, no, I'm not playing Simba because if he swings over Fiki as a discarded card, so whatever. So I think I just quest here. Maybe I, hmm, I think, I think unfortunately Jasper is gonna be the one that gets inked here. Maybe Simba, that's a, I'll, I'll ink Simba. I was gonna play Simba to protect Flynn from Rafiki, but I think it's fine. And I think we just play Jasper. So if he Rafiki's in, then Jasper can swing into Rafiki and not uh, get uh, banished in return. It's a positive trade for me. And he's losing a card. So the card advantage is kind of uh, on my side. He did not play Rafiki, he played Rapunzel, which is fine. I still get to keep one of his Pascals from questing next turn. Oh, and we got the just in time, just in time. We're gonna quest here, keep Pascal from doing his thing. We're gonna quest with Flynn because if he swings in, he's not only discarding a card, but he's also not getting to sing friends on the other side. Here, we're gonna ink something, probably Mickey Mouse. And then we're gonna just in time, uh, Cusco. Seems like the best option here. And then we're gonna pass. I couldn't even tell you what this guy's other ink color is. Green. <laughs> Cheshire Cat going to ink. I think he always goes to ink. Oh wow, Tinkerbell with Evasive on Maleficent. And he's questing, he's not even challenging in the Flynn to keep me from questing for two. That's interesting. All of his guys currently have Evasive, not anymore. Okay, sick. This is beautiful, this is beautiful. All right, so we ink the aerial. I'm so far ahead, do I just play Mad Hatter? He can swing in for two. That's not gonna do anything. I think I just play Mad Hatter. I was gonna do the Tinkerbell swing, swinging shenanigans and make it so that I could defeat one of his Pascals. But I feel so far ahead that, uh, I mean, he can trade into here. He can't really trade into anything else. Oh, uh, he's playing the Cusco. He's playing the Cusco. Is he trying to race me? Cause he's gonna lose that race. I have nine right now. I guess he didn't realize I just win now. Okay, maybe he, he realized the writing was on the wall. I got to go first. Not only did I get to go first in what felt like probably an aggro matchup, he also didn't play Rafiki, which could have been decent into my board control or controlling my board. But he also only had Pascals early and that wasn't 
generating him enough lore to race me, especially going second. And it wasn't providing him with power strength to be able to challenge in my units. So I think that was just uh, the way it was always going to play out. Queue up one more game. Looks like I'll be going first. No just in time. No Flynn. No Lilo. No Simba. The whole bang is going back. Simba, beautiful. The rest of it, trash. Okay, perfect. So here we, we're gonna go Simba into either Jasper or Mickey Mouse. And then I guess Ariel, if we don't draw something else in the Moana or Cusco, so we're gonna put Mad Hatter back or into ink and pass. Okay. All right, so Hans might be the play over Ariel here. Hans into Cusco instead of Moana. I think that's fine. Well. He just inked what? Is this going to be another aggro matchup is the question. So if it is, having Ariel out is not a terrible option. So that kind of makes me want to want to ink Mickey so that I can play Jasper next turn. So we're going to ink Mickey. Simba doesn't do much for us here because we don't have anything to bodyguard at the moment. But at least we're getting something on the board. Not the best draw I've had with this deck in terms of opening hand. Especially mulliganing uh, five cards. Or, I mean, six cards. Or did I, No, I did all seven. Mulligan all seven cards. There's the Flynn. I at least get a positive trade into that. Okay, so we're going to ink a Moana. We're going to play a Jasper. And then we'll quest for one. Jasper will be able to keep Flynn from questing, which is nice. And then next turn, we probably go Ariel followed up by Moana, followed up by Cusco. Hopefully we draw a Rapunzel somewhere in there. All right, he inked a Rapunzel, so this is the mirror match. Played a Cheshire Cat. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so I think we ink Hans here, which is kind of weird, but we're gonna play Ariel. And then we're gonna go quest, quest, keep Flynn from questing, and pass. Jasper coming in clutch. Jasper coming in clutch for me. He can't he can't handle the Jasper at the moment, which is good for me. Wow, he's giving reckless. Okay, that's interesting. To Ariel. He's singing. So I'll just swing into Flynn. He probably should have just left Flynn uh ready. So I had to swing into Cheshire Cat and banish my Ariel. The only other thing is if I draw if I draw into Tinkerbell here, that would have been nice. Okay, we do not draw into Tinkerbell here, which is fine. I think we still, I think we go Jasper into Moana. Jasper Inc. play Moana. Um, Yeah, we're gonna swing into Flynn here. Discard a Ariel, we'll quest here. Cheshire can't quest, quest with Simba, pass. Now if we can get a Rapunzel, that would be nice. He's got the card advantage on me as he's uh not played very much. <clears throat> okay, the mother knows best play. Mother knows best play. Respect, respect. He just straight up played it and then sang the other. He should have sang Mother Knows Best and played that one because that one costs two. That was probably a misplay there. He is still only at three, three ink, which is kind of nuts. I didn't draw onto my just in times, so I didn't get to play him. Flynn, that's pretty sweet. I think we hold on to both of these cards. Or right, two cards. We don't we don't ink anything. And then we play Probably Moana, put Moana back out there and then just quest away. Don't let him quest with Cheshire Cat again. Gosh, Jasper in the mirror when it's in this kind of a situation is so freaking clutch. Oh, thank God he didn't play that. <laughs> Prince Philip, what is Pixelborn to be Frank doing? When this character challenge is banished, you may banish the challenged character. Trash, actual trash. I think I just quest out, can't quest with him. Quest here, quest here, ready my aerial. What do we play? Do we go Jasper into Flynn? I think we just go Jasper into Flynn. Just have more board presence, pass it up. I think that's just W right there. Yeah, that's just W. Yep, so that game, I got to go first again in an aggro matchup. He seemed to like probably have absolute crap in his hand. So he just didn't play stuff out and the stuff that he did play out kind of deal with my guys. I had Jasper for that consistent um, control, <laughs> lore control. It was, I mean, it was not much that guy could have done, I think, uh, at least based on what I saw him with uh, in hand and inking. So that was just unfortunate for him. But that's it. That was uh, three games, one loss, two wins. The loss was big error on my part, but also going second in aggro matchup. And more people are playing aggro than I thought they were, there would be. I thought there would be more mid-range or more control, but um, 
that's what that's what I went up against. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye.